Hi, my name is Grace. Um, to the people watching me today are my mom and her boyfriend, Javier. <laughs> okay, you can start the timer. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> you guys hear about the cavemen, the hunters and the gatherers. We were born to hunt and to gather. We weren't just born to eat meat and fats and not eat anything like fruits and vegetables. The keto diet takes that away from us by making this, or by making the person on this diet eat high fats and proteins, but no fruits and very little vegetables and starches. The keto diet is a um, diet that's hyped up by the media and is great for really fast weight loss, but overall isn't great for your body in the long run. The keto is, um, diet is an amped up Atkins diet, which was really terrible for your cardiovascular system. This is not a stable, or this diet is not a sustainable way to keep the weight off. It's a good way to lose weight really quickly. Um, is it really as good as the media portrays it? We're going to be talking about what the keto diet does to your body, um, why the media hypes up the keto diet so much, and why are some carbs so important for your body. To start off, we're going to talk about what the keto diet does to your body. The keto diet is where you um, focus your eating on high amounts of fats, moderate amount of protein, and very, very low amounts of carbs. It's a great way to lose weight quickly, but the minute that you eat a full carb brownie, you're gaining those 12 pounds back. Amanda McMillan, a registered dietitian, states keto causes high cholesterol and blood pressure, but that's what we should expect with a high fat diet. The body can only break nutrients down at a certain rate, and high levels of fat in the diet may lead to high levels of blood lipids are responsible for blockages that are responsible for blockages and other cardiovascular complications of leading to death. While you can reverse the numbers, the plague buildup in the arteries is almost impossible to reverse. On the opposing side, the keto diet does support weight loss, as I've mentioned before, but only if you stay on keto and your body stays in that ketosis state. It's also known to improve acne. According to Medical News Today, acne has several different causes and may have links to diet and blood sugar in some people. Eating a high diet and processed and refined carbs may um, alter the balance of gut bacteria, causing your blood sugar to rise and fall significantly, both of which can um, affect your skin. Although weight loss and clear skin is great, the keto, it doesn't compare to what the keto diet um, does to your body. So now you know the keto diet is an ideal for, um, is an ideal plan for long-term weight loss. Let's look at why the media hypes it up so much. First off, celebrities love the keto diet. Um, when a celebrity needs to lose 20 pounds really quick to get ready for a new role, it's really great because you can lose that weight so fast. But it's not very healthy to lose weight that quickly. Some popular keto loving celebrities are Halle Berry, Kourtney Kardashian, and Vanessa Hutchins. Like monkeys, we see someone do something and it has good results, so we follow. And that's obviously not the right thing because your body might not react to it the same as someone else's body. <clears throat> According to Sam Silverman, a writer for health.com, we all love a good celebrity weight loss story. And this one is a trendy diet everyone is currently obsessed with, the keto diet. The high fat, low carb eating plan has become incre incredibly popular, including among Hollywood elite. The fact is we all really wanna rock a body like Halle Berry but they failed to mention that she does work out constantly and has private chefs to accommodate whatever diet she's on that week. Lastly, we're going to cover why our body needs these healthy starches and carbohydrates. Carbs are all, um, carbs in our body are all about energy and they're found in foods like fruits, vegetables, breads, pasta, and even some dairy products. Carbohydrates provide the body with energy it needs and good sources of vitamins and minerals. According to Chris I, MD, if you choose a low carb diet for weight loss and take in fewer calories, you will lose weight. Generally, these diets involve eating less bread and pasta and more vegetables, fruits, and meat. Although low carb diets work well early on, after six months, they start to fail.
Uh, reading our body of important vitamins and minerals like um, that fruits and vegetables contain can cause different uh, mineral deficiencies in our body. On the opposing side, there are some refined sugars and breads that are indeed very bad for you. A diet with high refined sugar content can cause you to overeat, put on weight, and over time lead to insulin resistance type 2 diabetes. This is one plus side of keto that it does help you stop eating all these really um, overly processed sugars and carbs like breads. After um, what you have heard and seen, the keto diet really is not great for your body. Um, you can see why the media hypes it up so much and why our body really needs those healthy carbs. I hope you would agree consider the, the keto diet. If you want to diet, eat more fruits and vegetables, lean meats, and lower fats. Don't stop eating apples and bananas because Kim K told you to. Keto diet is really not great for your body. The media hypes it up way too much, and many types of carbs are um, indeed crucial to your body. So the keto diet is taking over the nation, and it's continuing to make more and more people unhealthy. We have to get informed and put an end to this keto diet. So the next time you think, hey, I'm going to eat a whole ton of bacon fat instead of apple, you should probably think again.